Every character in Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes has three distinct points that separate them from the rest, and these are their unique action, support ability, and tactical ability. Unique actions are the most defining traits of these, as they mix up your gameplay even when you're using the same class between characters. The support abilities tend to be passive benefits, which are easy to forget, but if kept in mind, can really up your game. The tactical abilities are only relevant when you are not actively using that character, as they give a benefit when you dole out commands from the command menu. When choosing a class for your characters, it is important to understand all of these. However, with 44 characters in this game, it can be a lot to take in. Today, we're going to take a quick look at these three traits for each of the characters in the base game, so that this can serve as a resource for everyone going forward. Let's get started. Black Eagles Edelgard Unique action, Solar Prominence All of Edelgard's attacks are imbued with fire damage. Support ability, Emperor's Prestige Allows Edelgard's attacks to still do damage to guarding enemies, albeit at a reduced but still nice rate, maxing out at 80% of your damage going through. Tactical ability, Ambition When ordered to attack, Edelgard will take 50% less damage. Hubert Unique action, Dark Conjuration Hubert's attacks may impale enemies with a dark magic spike. Follow-up attacks from him will power this up, and when you're ready, you can use the unique action button to detonate them, dealing dark damage. Support ability, Perception, keeps the stun gauge on enemies available for longer when it appears. Tactical ability, Officer's Duty. When ordered to defend, Hubert will take 50% less damage. Ferdinand, unique action, Maximum Ambulation. At certain amounts of hits and above, Ferdinand's attack speed will increase. This unique ability I think is one of the best in the game, and highly worth using your Merc Whistle on, just so you can put it on other characters. It's great to have double of. Support ability, Name Drop, fills up the Awakening Gauge every time Ferdinand defeats an enemy commander. Tactical ability, Noble Pride, when ordered to attack strongholds, Ferdinand takes reduced damage. Linhart, unique action, Easy Breezy. After completing the final attack in your regular attack string, a pair of wind orbs will appear next to Lindhart. These orbs will then send out a lot of auto attacks, eventually disappearing after about 25 seconds. Support ability, Catnap, increases the amount of HP Lindhart will recover while in allied strongholds. Tactical ability, Logician, when ordered to defend, Lindhart will take reduced damage. Kaspar, unique action, one for the books. If you hold the strong attack button during his combos, Kaspar will charge the attack. When released, it will have increased attack range and damage. He actually has three tiers of charge, indicated by the color around him, going from yellow to orange to red. Support ability, Fists of Justice, greatly increases Kaspar's damage to stun gauges. Tactical ability, Born Fighter. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Kaspar's damage increases. Bernadetta, unique action, personal space. Hit the unique action button to have Bernadetta create a circular zone around herself, which freezes enemies caught within. This area will linger for quite a while, but is unusable again until your unique action recharges over time. Support ability, Persecution Complex. When being hit by enemy attacks, Bernadetta gets a chance to temporarily increase the damage she deals right back to them. Tactical ability, Master of Concealment. When ordered to defend, Bernadetta's damage to enemies will increase. Dorothea, unique action, Prismatic Resonance. When hitting enemies with attacks, musical notes will spawn around the battlefield. When you attack these notes, they can explode, dealing damaging shockwaves. They will also have different types of elemental damage, which is indicated visually. Support ability, Songstress. After using a warrior special, Dorothea will heal the HP and fill up the awakening gauges of your allies around you. Tactical ability, Center Stage. When ordered to attack strongholds, Dorothea's damage will increase. Petra. Unique action, Windstorm. Increases Petra's evasion distance, and Petra hurts enemies by dodging through them. Support ability, Hunter's Boon. Restores the awakening gauge with every critical hit you deal out. Tactical ability, Outland Technique. When ordered to attack, Petra's damage dealt will increase. Monica, unique action, Wicked Impulse. If you sync up the attack buttons with Monica's attacks, in other words, if you don't button mash but time out when you hit the buttons, your attacks will include a shockwave that is imbued with elemental damage. There is a circle timer in the middle of the screen with every attack to help you with your timing. Support ability, Shrewd Operator. 
increases the damage dealt to enemies that already have a status effect. Tactical ability, Perfect Memory. When ordered to defend, Monica's damage to enemies will increase. Blue Lions. Dimitri. Unique action, Azure Lightning. All of Dimitri's attacks are imbued with lightning damage. Support ability, King's Might. When you send an enemy flying with one of Dimitri's attacks, you will do more damage to both their HP and stun gauges, if the stun gauge is exposed. Tactical ability, Rain. When ordered to attack, Dimitri's damage increases. Dudu. Unique action, Demolisher. Like Caspar, if you hold the strong attack button for combos, you will charge your attack, with Dudu causing blasts that deal major damage. This doesn't have three charges to it like Caspar's, just one big smash. Support ability, Staunch Shield. If you are hit while guarding, Dudu will restore his warrior gauge. If you block near the time of impact, triggering a perfect guard, the gauge is filled up even more. Tactical ability, Life and Limb. When ordered to guard, Dudu takes reduced damage. Felix. Unique action, Intense Velocity. If you dodge while you are attacking, Felix will then have a buff to his attack speed. This can stack up to three times and runs out once his unique action bar is used up. Support ability, Lone Wolf. If you don't equip Felix with the battalion, or the battalion he's equipped with is depleted from taking damage, Felix's damage is increased, so really just don't give him one. Tactical ability, Eager Blade. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Felix's damage is increased. Ash. Unique action, Wind Stance. If you press the unique action button, Ash can fire off a zone of wind. This will juggle enemies helplessly in it while it remains. This is then unusable until your unique action gauge fills back up, which takes time. Support ability, Lockpick. This allows Ash to open up chests without needing to get the key first. It also increases item drop chance when you beat enemy commanders. Tactical ability, Knight's Oath. When ordered to attack strongholds, Ash receives reduced damage. Sylvain. Unique action, Gordian Stroke. At certain tiers of hit strings, Sylvain's attack range and damage increases, building up an in intensity until it hits its maximum when your weapon becomes fully red. Like Ferdinand's, this unique action is also insanely good, and is another great candidate for your Merc Whistle. I possibly like this one even more. Support ability, Adept Flirt. When an ally of the opposite sex is nearby Sylvain, or is his adjutant, Sylvain's Awaken Engage fills up faster. Tactical ability, Valiant Bloodline. When ordered to attack, Sylvain will take less damage. Mercedes. Unique action, Radiant Love. Attacking with Mercedes fills up her unique action gauge, as well as restoring her own HP. When the gauge is full, you can then hit the unique action button to send off a huge light blast that damages your enemies and heals your allies. Support ability, Live to Serve. When Mercedes uses magic skills to heal allies, she also heals herself an equal amount. Tactical ability, Devotion. When ordered to defend, Mercedes takes less damage from enemies. Annette. Unique action, Courageous Aria. Attacking fills up Annette's unique action gauge, and when it is full, you can use the unique action button to sing a song that temporarily boosts yourself and your nearby allies. The boost that is given out is random, however, there are three options. One, imbues your attacks with elemental damage that corresponds to that unit. For example, Annette always gets wind. Two, increases your speed. Or three, your attacks all become critical. You can kind of tell which one you get by the color that flashes on Annette. If it's green, you know she has the elemental attack damage one. If it is whitish or clear, it's the increased speed one. There will also be speed marks going on around her body. The critical hit one has a slight yellow gathering of power effect, and then you will have a yellow power glowing around you when it's active. Support ability, Overachiever. If you defeat a certain number of enemies with a single warrior special, Annette's damage to enemies will increase. Tactical ability, Ray of Sunshine. When ordered to defend, Annette's damage increases. Ingrid, unique action, Icy Plunge. Enemies sent flying by your attacks explode, dealing ice damage in a wide area. This can make it really easy to make a field full of frozen, helpless enemies, and is another one of those abilities that, that I definitely recommend using your Merc Whistle on. It can be really, really powerful. Support ability, Heaven Sent. Ingrid will recover more Warrior Gauge when attacking enemies that have been launched into the air already. Tactical ability, Sworn Lance. When ordered to defend a character, Ingrid's damage will increase. Rodrigue. 
Unique action, Martial Prowess. When playing as Rodrigue, if you attack with the correct timing, as helped by the circle that appears on your screen, your damage, range, and knockback will all increase. This is quite similar to Monica's unique ability. Support ability, Right Hand Man. When your health is at 50% or below, Rodrigue can't be critically hit by foes, get status effects, or be knocked back while attacking. Tactical ability, King's Lance. When in order to defend an ally, Rodrigue will receive less damage from enemies. Golden Deer, Claude. Unique action, Dust Cloud. All of Claude's attacks are imbued with wind elemental damage. Support ability, Leader's Acumen. When attacking enemies while they are launched midair, Claude's Awakening Gauge will fill up faster. Tactical ability, Foresight. When ordered to defend, Claude's damage increases. Hilda, unique action, Lightning Bound. Like Caspar and Dadu, Hilda has a charging mechanic with her strong attacks. Her version both makes her hit harder and will add lightning damage. Additionally, enemies nearby will be drawn into her attack. This is definitely my favorite of this kind of charging attack. Support ability, Advocate. While Hilda's adjutant is a member of the opposite sex, her adjutant gauges will fill up faster, and adjutant follow-up attacks will do more damage. Tactical ability, Delicate Flower. When ordered to attack strongholds, Hilda will deal more damage to enemies. Lorenz. Unique action, Rondo of Roses. Lorenz only recovers his unique ability gauge by attacking enemies. However, if you nullify enemy attacks, usually by attacking them while they're attacking you, your gauge will decrease. At any rate, once it becomes full, you can then use the unique action button to draw enemies all around you to right in front of you. Give yourself a little pause, however, as they do take a little bit more time than you might expect to be drawn in, but it is a pretty wide area. Support ability, Distinguished House. While a battalion is deployed with Lorenz, his Awakening Gauge fill rate will increase, so always give him one. Tactical ability, Noble Duty. When ordered to guard, Lorenz will deal more damage to enemies. Raphael. Unique action, Pure Brawn. This is another strong attack charging mechanic. By holding the strong attack button down before your combos, you will increase your damage, be more likely to knock enemies back, and also reduce their stun gauges. Raphael will also then gain increased damage for a time afterwards. During this increased damage time, doing more charge attacks will boost the effect, going up in steps until he maxes out at 4 times. You can see how long his increased damage effect will last by looking at his unique action gauge. You need to be quite fast with this one. Support ability, Goodie Basket. After collecting recovery items, Raphael will deal additional damage to enemies. Tactical ability, Unbending Spirit. When ordered to guard someone, Raphael will take reduced damage from enemies. Ignatz. Unique action, Dreamer's Paintbrush. While Ignatz attacks, occasionally paint will be splattered around the area. Enemies that step into it will receive elemental damage that matches the paint's color. And, of course, any frost effect paint that freezes enemies can make a lot of fights much easier. Support ability, Watchful Eye. This increases the critical hit rate of your strong attacks. Tactical ability, Heart's Desire. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Ignatz will receive less damage. Lysithia. Unique action, Cursed Expulsion. Enemies that Lysithia sends flying will explode, and deal dark damage around them with those blasts. Enemies that are sent flying like this are considered to be spellbound, and if you press the unique action button, provided your unique action gauge is charged, Lysithia will draw those enemies back in front of her for further punishment. Support ability, Unsought Power. When one of your crests activate, Lysithia's Awakening and Warrior Gauges will be filled by an amount. Tactical ability, Virtuoso. When ordered to attack, Lysithia's damage to enemies will increase. Marianne. Unique action, Snow Slip. At certain tiers of hit combos, Marianne will spawn falling ice orbs that deal ice elemental damage. Like all ice damage effects, the freeze effect on this can make it very powerful, although this one is a bit more random. Support ability, Animal Friend. If you, your adjutant, or a surrounding ally is on a mount, Marianne's HP will be restored at certain intervals. Tactical ability, Reverence. When ordered to defend someone, Marianne will receive less damage from enemies. Leone. Unique action, Careful Study. Leone is able to string together her regular attack combos. This means after doing your final regular attack, if you keep hitting the button, Leone will lead right into another regular attack combo, but with an additional effect on her that increases her speed. The final regular attack or strong attack you end this extended combo with will also be powered up. Support ability, Rivalry. 
When an ally of the opposite sex is nearby Leone or is her adjutant, your warrior gauge fill rate will increase. Tactical ability, makings of a merc. When ordered to attack someone, Leone will receive less damage. Holst. Unique action, Galvanic Surge. Holst's unique action gauge fills up a bit faster by having this ability. When it is full, you can then use the unique action button to temporarily increase your speed, as well as imbue your attacks with lightning damage. Support ability, Natural Warrior. When your HP is at 50% or below, your damage to enemy stun gauges will increase. Tactical ability, True Champion. When ordered to defend someone, Holst's damage to enemies will increase. Ashen Wolves. Yuri. Unique action, Deceit. Use the unique action button to create a wind orb that will draw in enemies and then explode. This action is only charged from time. Attacking enemies will not make a comeback sooner. Support ability, Schemer. Each perfect dodge you do will restore your awakening gauge. Tactical ability, Honorable Spirit. When ordered to defend someone, Yuri's damage to enemies will increase. Balthus. Unique action, Golden Fists. At certain tiers of hit combos, your attacks will increase in damage. Sending your enemies flying will also make them drop gold. This can be really helpful to get you the money you need for buying multiple characters' levels. It's actually not a bad one to double up with your Merc Whistle, although it definitely should not be your first or maybe even second choice, but it is really useful in the late game when you just want to buy some levels. Support ability, King of Grappling. When your HP is at 50% or below, your critical hit rate will increase. Tactical ability, Raging Tempest. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Balthus's damage to enemies will increase. Constance. Unique action, Personality Shift. Each attack will create orbs around you, and you can hold a maximum of 13 of these. When you feel like it, you can then use your unique action button to launch the orbs out at enemies for a quick bit of damage. These will either be light or dark damage, depending on the time of day of the stage you're on. Support ability, Emergent Magic. When using elemental magic, you will sometimes randomly cast a more powerful version of that magic. Tactical ability, Resolute Path. When ordered to attack a stronghold, you will receive less damage. Happy. Unique action, Nether Sigh. Strong attacks and final regular attacks will create zones of darkness in front of you with a sigh. When these are out, you can then use the unique action button to cause them to detonate. You would need to be quite fast to have even two of these, so it's a good idea to detonate it as soon as you can. Support ability, Monstrous Appeal. When attacking monsters, Happy will still deal damage to any type of barrier, even if she's not using the correct weapon or damage type. She is definitely the best character to take to any battles where you know you'll be encountering them. Tactical ability, Power of Night. When ordered to defend someone, Happy's damage to enemies will increase. Church of Seros. Seteth. Unique action, Wind Swept. Your strong attacks are imbued with wind damage. Enemies hit by this are considered wind torn, and while under this effect, you can use the unique action button to do additional damage with air blades. This ability then has a cooldown time. Support ability Guardian. When collecting a recovery item, any surrounding allies also get the same full effect of it. Tactical ability Second in Command. When ordered to defend someone, Seteth will receive less damage from enemies. Flame. Unique action, Luminous Prayer. When performing regular attacks, Flane has a chance to spawn three orbs of light around them. You can then use the unique action button to fire a beam of light towards all of these orbs. It's good to remember to use this whenever you see the orbs start to go out, as it can be a quick bit of free line damage. Support ability, Lily's Poise. When Flane recovers HP, any unit set as her adjutant also recovers the same amount of HP. Tactical ability, Healthy Curiosity. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Flane will receive less damage from enemies. Manuela. Unique action, Thunderous Refrain. Attacking will create lightning-imbued staves that float around you, and also fill your unique ability gauge up. When your gauge is full, you can then use the unique action button to deal a large amount of damage around the flying staves. Support ability, Infirmary Master. When using a healing item, such as a Vulnery, Concoction, or Elixir, your surrounding allies will also be healed by it. Tactical ability, Polymath. When ordered to attack someone, Manuela will receive less damage from enemies. Yuritsa. Unique action, Quietus. Attacking will fill up your unique action gauge, and when it is full, Yuritsa will do a slash with his signature scythe. 
instantly defeating non-commander enemies. This will still damage commander enemies, it just isn't guaranteed death. Support ability, Murderous Intent. Greatly increase critical attack rate if you are hitting enemies with most of their health. The cutoff is 80% or more. Tactical ability, Obliteration. When ordered to attack someone, Yuritsa will deal increased damage. Catherine. Unique Action. Twofold Ruin. Use your Unique Action button to make your attacks hit twice for a set period of time, also dealing additional damage on top of that. This cannot be reused until the gauge fills up again, and there is quite a long timer on this. But on the other hand, the activated ability part also lasts for quite a bit longer than your average Unique Action buff. Support Ability, Fighting Spirit. If no battalion is deployed to Catherine, she will take less damage from enemies. So remember to not give her one if that matters to you. Tactical Ability, Nature's Wrath. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Catherine will deal increased damage. Shamir. Unique Action, Cold Calculation. Like Monica and Rodrigue, Shamir's unique ability is tied to hitting the attack buttons at the right time, and not just button mashing. She is very rewarded for doing this, as it increases both your critical hit rate and also imbues your attacks with ice, which we know can be very, very nice. Ice is nice. Support Ability, Survival Instinct. When you defeat an enemy commander, your warrior gauge will be restored. Tactical Ability, Deadly Aim. When ordered to attack someone, Shamir will deal increased damage. Other, Shez. Unique Action, Shadow Flash. This ability has two parts. First of all, you get a passive bonus. Shez has a chance to instantly defeat non-commander units, which goes up as your hit count increases. Secondly, and more obviously, you gain a dash move by hitting the Unique Action button. This can be used several times in a row, and it's great for following up on enemies that you've just sent flying across the map. Additionally, it's just a great way to get from place to place, as it can be much faster than just physically moving there. Support ability, Mortal Coil. While your HP is at 60% or above, your warrior gauge fill rate increases. Tactical ability, Mercenary Creed. When ordered to attack someone, Shez's damage dealt to enemies will go up. Byleth, Unique Action, Divine Pulse. Use your Unique Action button to create a time stop. During this, you are free to pound damage into your frozen foes, and when the time stop ends, Byleth will do a follow-up attack based on how much damage you inflicted. This unique action is devastatingly powerful. Arguably, it might be the best one in the game. Just about the only limiter on it is it has a very long time-based cooldown. Support ability, Ashen Demon. While your awakening is activated, Byleth's damage increases. Tactical ability, Unfeeling Blade. When ordered to attack someone, Byleth's damage to enemies goes up. Geralt. Unique action, Blade Breaker. Here we have the last strong attack charge mechanic ability. With Geralt, it will charge up to three tiers, which can be seen by your charge color. Yellow, to orange, to red. And then this will increase your damage, guard break, and explode, sending your foes flying. Support ability, Captain's Grit. When Gerald has a battalion deployed, you are immune from knockback from enemies that your battalion is effective against. So again, always give him one. Tactical ability, Veteran Commander. When ordered to attack a stronghold, Gerald receives reduced damage from enemies. Gatekeeper. Unique action, Camaraderie. At certain tiers of hit combos, after a strong attack or your final regular attack, fellow gatekeepers will appear to join in and perform follow-up attacks. Support ability. Nothing to report. The Gatekeeper is immune to all status effects. Tactical ability, Soldier's Honor. When ordered to defend someone, the Gatekeeper will receive reduced damage. Sothis. Unique action, Divine Caprice. At every tier of hits based on your skill's level, a powerful magic sigil will appear that will attack automatically for you. These are imbued with elemental damage, and you can only have three of these active at the same time. As long as you keep your hit string going, you will have these sigils to help output damage. Support ability, Sacrosanct. After performing a perfect guard, perfect dodge, or air recovery, Sothis nullifies all attack damage for a time. You can see this active by the shields that surround her. Tactical ability, Hand of Time. When ordered to defend someone, Sothis takes less damage. Rhea, Unique Action, Purifying Rain. Your unique action gauge fills up by attacking quicker than normal by having this ability. 
When it is full, you can then use the unique action button to cause a rain of fire from the Immaculate One down onto your enemies. This fire lasts for quite a bit of time while your unique action gauge drains down again. Supportability, Power of the Saints. At certain periods of time, Rhea's Awakening Gauge will just be refilled a bit. Tactical Ability, Merciful Auspices. When ordered to defend someone, Rhea receives reduced damage. Up last, Arval. Unique Action, Duality. At any point, you can switch the element of your attacks between Dark and Light by hitting the Unique Action button. Attacking fills up your unique ability gauge, but you can still switch even if it isn't full. Arval will let out an attack when you switch, and that attack is determined by how you are switching. Going from light to dark will gather enemies in a range that has its size determined by how full your gauge is. Going from dark to light will cause your attacks to immediately defeat non-commander units. Again, the range is determined by how full your gauge is. Supportability, Agarthan Arcana. When you are hit by enemy attacks, Arvil will deal a proportional amount of damage back at the enemies surrounding you. Tactical Ability, Vigilant Gaze. When ordered to defend someone, Arvil will deal increased damage to enemies. And there we have all 132 character abilities in this game. It can definitely be hard to remember some of these in the middle of battle. Unique actions are easy enough to keep in mind, but support and tactical abilities can be quickly forgotten. I'd recommend just starting out by learning your favorite characters, and then try to consciously give them commands that best fit their tactical abilities most often. And try to remember what their support ability does, for example if it gives them more warrior gauge, then use your warrior specials a whole lot more, maybe to try to finish off commanders. There is a lot more to talk about from here, and I look forward to going into how these characters can suit various classes, but we'll get into all that in the future. For now, thank you so much for watching everyone, I will catch you later. Big thank you to my top patrons Henry Gutierrez, John Morrison, Ryan Poe, and Shin Lu, as well as to all my other patrons. If you'd also like your name to join this list of people supporting the channel, please check out the link in the description. Thank you all very much.